Welcome back to Make Easy. In this specific video for QBasic, we are going to talk about how to calculate perimeter of triangle in QBasic in very simplest way. This is the eighth or ninth video for QBasic for beginners. So if you are new, please subscribe to my channel and watch the previous video of QBasic so you can understand QBasic in very easiest way. Now, what is the formula for perimeter of triangle? Sum of three sides of triangle is the perimeter of triangle. So what is the requirement? We need three sides. So we have to input three sides of the triangle and we have to keep the formula and then we can print that. Let's go to the screen and let's see how to solve that in very simplest way. P64 which is easy to use you can copy program from internet you can paste it here and you can test the program whether that is working or not so now today's program is WAP write a program to calculate perimeter of triangle so you know the formula perimeter of triangle sum of sides of triangle is perimeter of triangle so you can see here this is triangle sum of side means this side first this side second and this side third so a plus b plus c is perimeter so what we need we need three sides as an input from the user so i will write here cls to clear the data of the output screen and then i will write here input enter three sides of triangle semicolon a comma b comma c so in this way you can take three input in the single line using the input statement this message is very much compulsory enter three sides of triangle because we need value for three sides of triangle and that will be stored in a b and c first side value will be stored in a second side value will be stored in b and third side value is stored in c then formula we know p equals to a plus b plus c then this is perimeter that is stored in p so we have to print that value perimeter of triangle is P and then end so let's run the program and let's see whether it is working or not this is very much simple a plus B plus C three sides of the triangle and I kept here P because it is related to the perimeter perimeter for perimeter I keep the variable name P you can write perimeter or you can write PE you can write PR that's your choice okay when we are writing input statement in this way so we have to input the value in this way one uh, first value comma second value comma third value so perimeter of triangle is 13 so in this way it works let's uh, change the variable name so you have to keep variable name related so I will keep here perimeter and I have to write here same thing P E R I M E T E R perimeter we are storing value in perimeter so we have to print that same value so I use this perimeter variable so again I will input different value comma comma 6 so perimeter triangle is 14 yeah this is the simple program we can solve any program in this way by knowing the requirements and formula thank you for watching if you understand this click on the like button click on the subscribe button and share with your friends have a good day and see you in the next video